Final Fantasy XIV has made a unique update that was unannounced as far as I and anyone else can tell for the new Moogle Treasure Trove event. We usually get these events a few times a year before big patches and expansions, but this time around we have a two split. One for January 30th to March, and then probably somewhere between the end of March to the new expansion drop. This is an event you do not want to miss, especially if you hate crafting and gathering, which I'll go over in the rewards section. My name is Bun, and we're going to go over our new Mog Pendium. Starting off, the Mog Pendium is going to be an almost duty finder or more related Wondrous Tales looking window, where when you complete objectives, you can collect Moogle tombstones from there. We are going to have a standard weekly mini Mog and Ulta Mog challenge. The standard is our regular dungeons and trials with the addition of ocean fishing and gate events from the Gold Saucer. These are great additions because it really allows players who do not want to spam the same dungeon over and over different ways to get tombstones now. This new update will now include include weekly objectives which will just be a standard objective that will be special and when you make sure to do the one that's assigned you'll get a bonus for doing that one objective. So basically make sure you do your weekly objective for easy bonus tombstones. Another objective you can do is make sure to subscribe to support the channel and give me a thumb. Mini Mog challenges which is going to be two special objectives to which you'll choose one to do. This looks like it can be a myriad of activities such as hunts, ocean fishing, possibly maps and triple triad. These should reset every Tuesday for new activities to do, and this is exactly what I think a lot of players were looking for when it comes to more content on a regular basis. This gives a lot of players a reason to log in on Tuesday and complete the weekly challenges for the extra bonus tombstones for the event. And I hope they put more events like these out for Dawn Trail. An important note for the weekly Minimog and Ultimog, these will not automatically go in your inventory. You're going to have to make sure to go into the Mog Pendium and collect these tombstones from there. Let's go over rewards. Now there'll be different rewards for the first part and second part, but if you hate crafting and gathering and never want to do it, you'll not want to miss this event especially. That's because the majority of these rewards are from the Firmament, which is the side content for crafters and gatherers in Heaven's Ward, and it's really tedious to get some of these mounts through here. Now you can simply do battle content and reap the benefits. Final Fantasy XIV Collect is the perfect website here to not only see all the Moogle rewards, but track all of your achievements in Final Fantasy XIV. Going down to Moogle Rewards, Genesis 1 and 2, you'll quickly see that many of these top rewards are either purchasable from the market board, but if your in-game monetary reserves reflect the current economic climate, you're broke, or using Sky Builder scripts, which is only gotten through crafting and gathering in the firmament. You always want to look through and prioritize whichever ones you don't have, usually starting with the top item, which is a special accessory in game that tends to be super cute for glamour. Moving on to any mounts, as those are usually the best bang for the buck for the tombstones, and then minions. This time around, this is a Final Fantasy XIV achievement chaser's dream, since a lot of these rewards are from extra side content like Boja or Eureka that tend to have a small chance of dropping. Again, you can purchase these if you have an excess of gill, and Final Fantasy Collect will show you that these are purchasable from the market board, so you don't have to go around and research anywhere else. But if they are hard to obtain and they're sellable, they're probably going to sell for quite a bit of gil. The other things to keep on a lookout for is the special time-worn maps that guarantee portals when doing maps. And this is the only way to get them. So if you get all the mounts and minions and you want to put your money or gil into something else, these maps will then give you access to better rewards that are even more rare to get. Like I said, this is a Moogle treasure trove event you do not want to miss. Thank you to my Patreon, YouTube, and Discord monthly donators, as you're the main reason I can keep this channel up and running through these really slow months of Final Fantasy XIV. If you are someone who likes to learn all about the game you play, I have an extensive playlist for all different fields of Final Fantasy XIV, especially if you play on controller, and you can keep watching more Final Fantasy Guide content here.